Hey guys, it's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna be showing you guys a project that I'm working on, which is this 10 inch half width 6U server rack. So let's get started. Recently, I've been doing some upgrades to my server closet. It's actually behind this wall and I decided to buy a rack. And then when I was searching for a rack, I found this one, which is a fully enclosed 10 inch 6U rack. They actually sell this in 4U and also 10U if you need it bigger or smaller, but this is the overall look of it. So I decided just to go for a 6U, which will actually fit all my routers and switches. And also I would plan to put some Raspberry Pis in here as a server. This will be literally my mini server cabinet for my Raspberry Pis and other stuff. Now, everything I talk about in this video will be linked down in the description if you are interested in purchasing this. So let's talk about this a little bit. Now, this is a glass door and it does come with a locking mechanism over here. So you can actually press that, that pops out and it opens up. You can switch this to the other side if you need to. But yeah, that's how that would open. And then inside you can see that there's panels for the 10 inch. And like I said, this is considered half width. They actually have these in six inch versions, not this brand, but six inch versions, half width, which is 10 inches. Then they also have the full width, which is the 19 inches you're probably used to seeing. Now this server case also has, let me close this up, a lot of vents up on top and on bottom and also ability to put a 120 millimeter fan on top. Now this usually does come with the 120 millimeter fan and I did email them and they will be shipping it to me. I didn't get it in time to make this video. Now also you have side panel access and locks as well. So you can just pop it down, reach in there if you needed to do the side panel stuff. And then on the back, you have your mounting holes if you plan to mount this on a wall or you could actually put these rubber feet that they, it comes with and then you could actually use it as a stand itself. And that's about it for the server case. Now there's not much stuff, there are some. You could actually buy some switches or routers that actually come with the 10 inch mounting rack for these things, but not a lot. So since I have a 3D printer, I decided to 3D print a bunch of these uh, panels that I could mount Raspberry Pis, routers, and switches. And this is all done through the 3D printer I recently reviewed, which is from BiQB1. And if you guys didn't enter for the giveaway, yeah, it's still live right now. So check out that previous video on how to enter the giveaway. The main thing about this is you're planning to run all your network into one area so it looks clean and less cluttered. Uh, this also has a panel up on top right over here where the wires could go in and there's also the same panel in the back So if you decide to not use the top, you could also use the back uh, I've also purchased one of these things which is a patch panel and these patch panels basically allows you to hook up uh, the wires to the back and it'll just give you these connections into the front yeah, so this patch panel is about $20 and this is roughly about under a hundred. So I thought it was a really good buy just to get a pretty good enclosure for my servers and stuff. Now, I also purchased this switch. This is a very good switch for what we're gonna do. This is actually a smart switch for $50. So it means I could actually go in here, control each port, turn it on, turn it off. It's also gigabit. It also has support for bonding. So if you wanna bond two NICs together for your Synology NAS or something like that to get double the uh, throughput, you could actually bond these two together. And on Synology, you bond those two NICs together. And yeah, it could act as one. So, only smart switches could do that and this one supports it and i'll leave a link to this as well because it's actually a very affordable smart switch i'll also leave all the links to the 3d designs that i found uh, i didn't design this i actually only designed this clear panels over here but all these little racks where you could put the raspberry pies in and stuff like that is designed by another guy and i'll leave the thingiverse link down in the description below now plugging this in is pretty simple i just slide it into the top and that is it this is how it will look it actually does pretty well. It fits right in. And on the back, it has like some sort of like stopper. You see this? Where it'll actually stop it from sliding back. So you could actually push against it and it won't slide back. Now for the Raspberry Pi, he actually has a couple of designs for Raspberry Pi 3 and Raspberry Pi 4. And then I got one of these uh, panels, which I could print multiple ones of these just to hide up the extra spaces that I'm not using. What I'm gonna do is uh, put this together to show you how it would come out or how it would look. And this rack actually does come with like legs right over here. So you could actually place stuff on there. I took, there, and it comes with two sets. So I took one set out, but I'm leaving the bottom set for now. It also does come with all the hardware. You can see that I already pre-mounted some of the hardware, but it all comes with all the hardware, all the screws, everything you need. So you don't have to buy anything extra. So I'm gonna start putting this together to show you how it would look. So first I'm gonna remove this 
glass panel so it doesn't look like it's going to get in the way. Take this, slap it into these areas and just take the screws and start screwing everything in. Now I'm just going to lightly put this in for now because this still has to be patched up. So I still have to connect all the things together. And if you guys are not familiar with doing these patch panels, you need something called a punch down tool, a 110 punch down tool just to do these. Um, generally, I think when you buy these patch panels, they would come with them. It's like a little plastic tool. I actually have my own punch down tool. So I'll punch it down later on when I get, when I start moving everything into a closet, but I'm just trying to get the appearance to show you guys how everything would look. That's kind of the idea how I want to go. I got the patch panel up on top or the switch right underneath. And then underneath that, I'm gonna run my Raspberry Pis. Oh, I also got a really cool uh, power supply for my Raspberry Pis. Um, I tend to lightly put in the screws with my hand. That's just my habit because I don't wanna uh, strip the screws. So now I need to put this one in. Obviously, I'll put the Raspberry Pis on here a little bit later, but now I need to put these in here. Okay, that is it, slide this in here for now, okay then I'll take my trusty um, snap-on tool screwdriver because this actually fits it really well, start buttoning up everything, and I kind of want to line up everything to the lines. Now to access the top, because I forgot to put those uh, screwed hex nuts in, I could just get it from the side, just open up the side panel and get into there. And I could either put something down here or put something up top. So my thoughts is in the future, probably sometime soon, and I'll be doing the project on this a little bit later, is to actually, you see how this is a 2U space? Instead of 1U, is 2U. I want to build a panel or 3D print a panel here and actually stick in an ITX computer. So the bottom part will be an ITX computer, two Raspberry Pis for maybe a, a Minecraft server and a Pi hole. I got my switches over here and then my uh, panels for the entire house so I have everything ran together. So that's my thought about this for now. And then the top panel will kind of be just empty for now until I can find something to fill it in. And this is basically the overall look. Maybe later in the future, I might just uh, put my logo up on top here or something. You really don't see it. Or maybe I'll install the LEDs to the top panel itself. Right now, I'm just covering it up until I get that all worked out. So there we have it, guys. It might not look as complete because I still have to put wires from the patch panel over to the hub and then still install the Raspberry Pis. But this is the overall idea of the look. And then when I close the door, this is how it will look closed. This is really cool. I really like this. And again, I'm going to be working on more projects on this and putting this together. And then I'll show you when I put in a new computer or other stuff that I do to it. Especially when I start installing LEDs and stuff, I'll show you a project on what I want to control. Because I could just use a Raspberry Pi Pico and kind of manage everything. Oh, and I was going to show you this. Now this is also a 5 volt, uh, I think 10 amp. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was 10 amp or something like that. 5 volt, 10 amp. Um, power supply that I can actually hook up my Raspberry Pis to. So this will be hidden somewhere inside. I might make a little area or maybe put it somewhere and I could just power everything I need. And that is it. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, any ideas on what I could start putting into this project? Let me know down in the comments below because I'm pretty interested in it or join my Discord and kind of throw some ideas around. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say my Nerd Cave, Hack till it hurts.